Mauricio, I want to start, I did a bit of um, homework before the interview, and I saw this remarkable story. But you were discovered by Marcelo Bielsa, who came to your house in the middle of the night. Tell it's me true. this is a true it's story. It's not fake. Uh, it's a true story. It's an unbelievable thing that happened many years ago when I was a child. Marcelo Bielsa knocked the door. I think one, one or two o'clock. Two o'clock in the yeah, morning they came morning. to your house. And of course my mom and my dad were a little bit scared <laughs> what happened. And I read that he asked them, because you were asleep obviously, if he could see your legs? Yes, exactly. Marcelo and Jorge say, oh, we can see the boy. <laughs> and say, yes, of course, my mom pulled out the, the blanket. Yes. Marcelo said, oh, what a legs. It's a legs of a footballer. Legs no, of a footballer. Legs of a footballer, yes. You had a, a, a very successful career, played for Argentina about 20 times. You'll be remembered for one game though, certainly in this country, obviously the Michael Owen incident. Yes. Do you think if there was VAR, that would not have been a penalty? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's true, maybe yeah. it helped me. Do you think VAR would have turned the decision yes, around? Yes, for sure. Do for you sure. think so? For sure, yes. <laughs> I didn't touch Michael Owen, you know, when I arrived to, to Southampton. They know me because of the penalty to, to Michael yeah. Owen, you yeah. know, when I arrived to, to Southampton. Mm. The bad thing after was a very good thing. Because, uh, who is Pochettino? No, Pochettino is, is the guy, guy that yeah. made the penalty yeah. to yeah. in and the yeah, and Cup in Korea. You won the game, but you must have been worried at that point, conceding a penalty that it might all go wrong. Nah, yes, yeah. but uh, you know, uh, but it's football. Of course, uh, you must move mm. on. Did you always want want to be a coach? Where did that come from? Were you always? Thinking tactically, you wanted, obviously you played central defender. And yes, I've seen my position on the, on the, on the pitch always uh, force you to think a little bit, to advise to your teammate. I've seen you have the better view. I started to think about to be coach when I was uh, 27 that I moved to Paris Saint-Germain. How would you describe your own philosophy, your own style of coaching, of management? Today in football, no one owns uh, the style, no one owns a different maybe ideas than another. I think the most important I think is how you are. You translate to the to the team, to the to the staff through your your character. That I think is the most important. Um, and no, of course, no, what, uh, what, what is your character? Are you, no, my, are you hard? You come over very well. Everyone says, "Oh, what a nice guy he seems," but you must have a kind of hard side, a tough side. I mean, you're Argentinian. You must have. Well, I think I am so relaxed. I am so yeah. confident in myself. You are generally in myself. relaxed, yeah? Yes, and I am. confident in yourself. Yes. Yeah. Um, some people say, oh, it's so stressful to be, to be a coach. Um, for me, it's more a joy than, than stressful. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's my passion, but it's not in a situation that put myself in a, under a massive stress. It's a sport, and um, we must to translate to the player that football cannot be uh, their job must be their passion, they need to keep the happiness, they need to feel fresh to play, not too much uh, obligation. My own philosophy is I want to win, but I respect how I feel football. And of course, after it's a battle on the pitch because you have an opponent that have good players and have different ideas. But I think football is a sport that uh, own the players, football. On the pitch, they are the boss that decide and um, make their decision. Only we need to create the platform for them to provide to the team uh, the, best, uh, the best thing that they can do and, of course, express their the talent in, 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 a, in, a, in a high level. No? You're not quite as animated on the touchline as, say, Jurgen Klopp or even Pep Guardiola. Although in recent weeks, we've seen you a little bit more animated. People haven't seen you like that before. <laughs> when you are on the pitch, the player must, uh, the people must to be focused on the player. You are always thinking from the touchline how, how help. And sometimes you start to show, but the people, you were a player, I was a player. I, I always ignored everything I heard. You ignored <laughs> the, 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 the manager. But of course, but you, you cannot plain listen no. what the manager is yeah. telling you. Say, no, right, left, <laughs> shoot. <laughs> Control the ball, pass the ball. Yeah. It's impossible. If you are, okay, you said, okay, swap and the manager play and I go into the touch line. You must to trust in, in your player that you have time enough during the week or during the day that you are preparing the game to provide or to, to, to give all the information in the way that you want to play, 
uh, how you must to behave or how you must to perform and so but on the end are the players once they the, cross that white line exactly you, can, you cannot affect apart well, from yes, you can affect or a tactical change. yes exactly you can affect after taking decision that you must to, to work uh, during and in some point I think it's, uh, it's not useful sometimes become nervous on the on the touchline because I think you translate to, to the team. I need to be fresh in my mind with my coaching staff, uh, assessing the, 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 the game and trying to after on the half time or if we stop the game in some in some moment, okay, to fix some positions and situation. But um, I think the most important is to be relaxed and calm. Um, if not, it's difficult to, to help the, the team. You've been at Spurs a few years now. Are you happy with the progress? Uh, I am a little bit no worried. Worried about what? Uh, thinking in the future. Yeah. You know, um, when we arrived here, uh, one of the, our challenges was to reduce the, the gap with the top four. The confidence or the trust in, in, your, in the club was a little bit down. That was about to recovery, that proud, and um, to say, uh, we are Tottenham. Yeah. We are Tottenham. And how do you do that? Because we hear always Tottenham have a massive history with a lot of massive players like you, uh, you know. But never was a club that really believed that can win, really believed that can be in the semi-final or the final of the Champions League. Do you think you have that belief now? Do you think that the team has that? I mean, you've come some great victories, late victories in, in recent weeks. I think we have. If one thing that we, we can say uh, why we are here where, where we are today is about because the faith, the belief and the war ethic. I read that you work the players very hard. Uh, we try, yes. We try. We yeah. try. <laughs> we try. <laughs> and they resist. <laughs> yes. Where do you want to take Tottenham? What's your dream? No, of course, we are close yeah. to the dream yeah. to win the Champions League, to, to win the Premier League. But we must to be focused all the areas on the club, focus on win. In the last five years, we were focusing, reduce the gap, to be above of Arsenal. Uh, yes, <laughs> <Of> because <course. laughs> in, uh, when we arrived, it was 23 yeah. or 22 years that never Tottenham was... Which you've finished. now achieved. Yes. And maybe we'll achieve yes. again this season. Finish the training ground. Build a new stadium. You know, yeah. in five years, happened a lot of things in this club. I, come, I promise you, today is not the club that... Uh, five years ago when we arrived. It's a completely different mm. club. And I think now is the possibility to be focused only in to into, um, try to get the, the glory that the fans won, mm. the player yeah. won, the club won. It's now it's not only achieve uh, thin, uh, material things, like, uh, okay, we have our new stadium, we have our new facility on the training ground. But now it's must, we must to be focused and all together in win titles. It's you know? difficult, isn't it? You could go and play in a different ground and now you're in your own ground. Oh, it's so and difficult. plus, obviously, two transfer windows without buying any players. Exactly. You know, you must be quite proud of the fact that your team has maintained that no, but, position. No, of course, of course. It was easy to say for the club, keep on White Hart Lane, not build a new stadium. But if you want to grow and want to be one of the best clubs on the, on the world, you must to take a risk, and I think the club is doing that. Do you think the fact that the club has spent so much on a new ground and, and the training facilities, will it affect your budget going forward? Yeah, of course. The reality is that it's difficult to compete with another club that are only focused in improve the squad. Maybe, you know, I can't wait because in my career I am still young, but for the player it's different. That is why it was so comp complex uh, this last three or four years. Yeah, to keep um, the players happy, and the people, to keep the players, that, to get new contracts. Yes. I mean, especially when you've got superstar players that, that would be sought after around the world. Harry Kane, Deli Alli, Ericsson, to name but three. Yes, it's, no, it's, it's so, yeah. it's so difficult. Is it hard to keep them happy or they, you've, they're on board, they're bought you know, into it? Normally the players are never happy. You know, <laughs> we true. never were happy, <laughs> no. of course. But the most important is that we are a family. The one criticism that is always said, you need a trophy. <laughs> yes. Do you believe you need a trophy? Personally, me? Yeah. Me, no. But of course, I am in football because I love the sport, I love football, it's my passion, but I want to win. 
We need big trophies, mm. and we need to fight for big things. What are big trophies? Big trophies, yeah, I well. think, is to be in, in, in Champions League, yeah. to have the possibility to win a Champions League, a Premier League. So you, you're not no. worried about FA no, no, Cup? No, or no, 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 league. no, 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 it's not like this. No. <laughs> Look, yeah. you can win the Carabao Cup, you mm. can win the FA Cup. I would love to, to win these two Cups. Mm. Of course, it's a beautiful feeling to lift this type of trophy. But that is about lucky. It's about, mm. you know... It's a knockout competition. It's a knockout com so competition. Yeah. I think Premier League yeah. or Champion League is going to put you like a club in, an, in a different level. How far off do you think you are? We are close. Mm. But uh, the last step always is, is the most difficult and the biggest step. We need to rebuild. It's going to be painful. Yeah. Do you think you need to rebuild? I think yes. Yeah? I think yes. And I presume to, to attract the right sort of players that you want. You've got to be in the Champions League. That's a big draw. You've got the stadium. That will make a difference. That will make players want to come. Yeah. It's special, isn't it? Yes. When you talk about Tottenham, everyone say in England or outside of England, say, oh, amazing. It's amazing the club. It's amazing the new stadium. It's amazing the facility. But you have an amazing house, but you need to put the furniture. You've got some lovely furniture. No, of course. <laughs> but if you want to, to have yeah. a lovely house, maybe you need better furniture. You need furniture in every room. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> And it's depends on yeah. your budget, if you are going to spend uh, some money or another money, you know. Yeah. But we need to be respectful with teams like City that are paying a lot of money, or Liverpool that invest a lot of money. I say, we are brave, we are clever, we are creative. Now it's about to create another chapter and to have the clear idea how we are going to build that new project for Tottenham. It's time to go furniture shopping. <laughs> and can I just say one thing? Avoid too many antiques. <laughs> okay. Mauricio. Thank you very much. Great to talk to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Pleasure.